The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to Timothy. Let no one disregard you because you are young, but be an example to all the believers in the way you speak and behave, and in your love, your faith, and your purity. Until I arrive, devote yourself to reading to the people, encouraging and teaching. You have in you a spiritual gift which was given to you when the prophets spoke, and the body of elders laid their hands on you. Do not neglect it. Let this be your care and your occupation, and everyone will be able to see your progress. Be conscientious about what you do and what you teach. Persevere in this, and in this way you will save both yourself and those who listen to you. And our response is from Psalm 111. The works of his hands are fidelity and justice. All his precepts are trustworthy, established forever and ever, accomplished in fidelity and honesty. Deliverance he sends to his people. His covenant he imposes forever. Holy and awesome his name. The root of wisdom is fear of Yahweh. Those who attain it are wise. His praise will continue forever. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. One of the Pharisees invited Jesus to a meal. When he arrived at the Pharisee's house and took his place at table, suddenly a woman came in who had a bad name in the town. She had heard he was dining with the Pharisees and had brought with her an alabaster jar of ointment. She waited behind him at his feet, weeping, and her tears fell on his feet, and she wiped them away with her hair. Then she covered his feet with kisses and anointed them with the ointment. When the Pharisees who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, if this man were a prophet, he would know who this woman is and what sort of person it is who is touching him and what a bad name she has. Then Jesus took him up and said, Simon, I have something to say to you. He replied, say on, master. There was once a creditor who had two men in his debt. One owed him 500 denarii, the other 50. They were unable to pay, so he let them both off. Which of them will love him more? Simon answered, the one who is let off more, I suppose. And Jesus said, you are right. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, you see this woman? I came into your house and you poured no water over my feet, but she has poured out her tears over my feet and wiped them away with her hair. You gave me no kiss but she has been covering my feet with kisses ever since I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. For this reason I tell you that her sins, many as they are, have been forgiven her, because she has shown such great love. It is someone who is forgiven little who shows little love. Then he said to her, your sins are forgiven. Those who were with him at table began to say to themselves, who is this man? that even forgives sins. But he said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord.